Well, just a quick sum up on this uh, fault with the uh, HP uh, 8662 signal generator. Um, it's got, it uses the uh, doubler circuit, which is this board here, um, to get to the higher frequencies. Um, and this seems to be the problem. It could be the the doubler. It could be the could be an, a problem with the setup. Um, I can't see the output on the scope obviously because I'm running at sort of 640 megahertz. So I'm just using the uh, rakel to uh, see the output now. I better switch over to 640 megahertz, which is when it uses the doubler. As soon as I do that, if you, if you notice the moment the status light here is not flashing, so there's no problem. Um, as soon as I go over to 640 megahertz, the status light comes up. Error 10. We've got an error. T I've got an error 10 B error on the AGC circuit. Now I don't think it's the automatic gain control can't get enough gain out of the amplifier. No idea what the amplitude level is. It's still outputting signal perfectly fine. Um, but it's flashing this light. Now, I think the level is slightly lower when the doubler circuit kicks in because when I wind the attenuator down, there's a point where the, the gate on the uh, HP stops sampling and it seems to be, I can, have, I can wind it down a lot further when the doubler circuit hasn't engaged. So basically what I'm saying is when the doubler circuit is enabled it looks like the output's lower and possibly that's why the AGC errors come up. It knows there's a problem, it can't get enough gain out of the amplifier so it's saying the output amplitude that says on the screen is not actually the output it's producing. Now, the fault was reported to be the doubler board um, and I'm inquiring about about one in the States at the moment, but I haven't had much response from the, uh, the seller. The part that usually goes wrong is like a, a module, and if I change the module inside this um, board here, you have to change the EEPROM with it because the EEPROM is matched to the amplifier and it's um, obviously like a, a close match, sort of closed loop circuit. Um, the EEPROM corrects for the um, the unity of the uh, amplifier, you know, the gain of the amplifier and its uh, particular characteristics. So you can't just swap the uh, module without the EEPROM. So basically you need a, new, a, com a complete new board. Um, I don't know if anyone's had this problem before, um, but, but yeah, that's basically it. I, as soon as I enable the doubler circuit, we get error message 10 come up, um, which I assume, without very limited on the test gear I can use because I've got nothing that run at sort of 640 megahertz but I it looks to me like the output has dropped off there is lack of gain from the um, the doubler circuit there are a couple of pots here for adjusting um, balance and things like that I don't want to adjust anything like that because I really don't know what I'm doing if anyone's got any ideas maybe they could um, let me know thanks very much